This video is a tutorial to explain how the special effects were applied to the video entitled Taekwondo Kicks. The video was created using Corel Video Studio and incorporated the use of picture-in-picture -picture as well as slow motion effects. The Corel Video Studio screen is divided into three major areas, the view screen, the library panel, and the timeline panel. Before getting started with video creation in Corel Video Studio, media elements need to be imported into the library. The library stores video clips, photos, and audio clips. The user can create collections of media, which makes it easy to separate clips for different projects. Another way media can be easily located is to use the buttons across the top of the library screen to filter by media type. When creating a video, clips are dragged from the media library to the timeline. Video clips and photos go in the top row of the timeline. The second row is for video overlay, which is also known as picture-in-picture. The third row is for text effects, and the last two rows are for audio files. The row with the microphone icon is for voiceover files, and the last row is for music files. The audio tracks are separated into two components so that a soundtrack can play at the same time as a voiceover. But instead of using the audio recording capabilities of Corel Video Studio, I recorded my audio using Audacity and imported the audio clips along with the other media. This worked well for me, but may not have been the most efficient. One of the biggest challenges was getting the video to align with the audio. More on this later. To separate a longer video into short video clips, the multi-trim tool is used. This tool allowed me to select start and end points of clips from within a longer video. The screen allows the user to move frame by frame through the video, allowing for very accurate clips. As mentioned earlier, the picture-in-picture -picture effect is added by using the video overlay feature. In Corel Video Studio, I used a single video by dragging it to the top track. But in some parts of the overall video, I drag a different clip to the second overlay track. When a video is placed in the overlay track, it should be checked for size and placement in relation to the primary video display. For my video, I wanted to show two different synchronized videos of the same Taekwondo kick from different angles. I used the picture-in-picture -picture to do this. I tried to crop the overlay video for the picture-in-picture, -picture, but I do not believe the Corel Video Studio is capable of cropping the video. It was my hope to make the front shot a narrower video, but all attempts to reduce the width distorted the image instead of cropping it. To work around th this, I ended up placing the overlay with some of the image off the edge of the screen. In a few places, the two video angles are not quite synchronized. To have the video synchronized, I would have either had to use two cameras recording simultaneously or a great amount of time to split the video clips to synchronize each portion. In one other location, I used a larger overlay to show a zoomed-in view of detail not clearly visible in the full-size video. This was a screen capture of a portion of the video that was filmed using a zoomed-in view. Within Corel Video Studio, adding time effects is fairly intuitive. To adjust the time, I took clips and slowed their speed to allow for a more detailed look at the technique being demonstrated. The same process could be used to speed up a video if desired. In Corel Video Studio, to change the length of time for a clip, the user only needs to click on the desired clip, then hover over the right end of the clip. 
When the mouse is in place, the shape of the cursor O changes to look like this. When the cursor has this shape, it can be used to either adjust the length of the clip, or if the user holds down the shift key while dragging, it adjusts the speed of the video without adjusting the content. Another time effect was accomplished through the use of screenshots of the video while it was paused. For example, at this point in the video, I wanted to emphasize the twist of the twist kick. To do so, it looks like the video pauses for an extended period of time. However, that is not an option within the Corel Video Studio, without using photos placed between portions of the video clip. Undoubtedly, getting the video to align with the audio was the most challenging part of this project. To fill the gaps where the audio was longer than the video, the slow motion time effects were added. If the viewer were looking very closely, the amount of change from real time varies slightly among the different kick demonstrations. This technique was used to not only help the viewer better see the kicking techniques, but also to allow the audio description to be completed. The pause effects were used as time fillers in some situations as well. I hope you found this video on how the Taekwondo Kicks video was created helpful, especially if you want to create your own videos using special effects in Corel Video Studio.